biggest impact you will see is soil erosion. Retreat of glaciers and the retreat of glaciers implies water shortages. Insects and diseases uh, are moving into the higher altitude areas. And so what the farmers are then doing are having to go higher and higher up the mountains. Chinese agriculture uh, is suffering from much more uh, flooding. We received more rain and floods in the whole history of uh, probably 70 years. We have four seasons in the Philippines, hot and hotter, wet and wetter. You, you look uh, an airplane uh, fly all the superficies of the land after one week, two weeks, all the pro agricultural production are completely destroyed. Increasing typhoons and rice vulnerability to, due to floods or salt tolerance. A major hurricane came through and flattened vast areas of forest. We had corn that was hard, it was very difficult to make maturity because it was a cool, wet, backward year. For most farmers in the world, it will require substantial adaptation to deal with changes in precipitation. We will have to change and not be depending on the rains because the rains have become unpredictable. About creative financing and how you can use climate financing to drive intensification. I need long-term risk programs that will allow me to uh, uh, maintain uh, my stability in the marketplace. Well, farmers are going to have to change the way they practice agriculture and what kind of changes they need to do depend upon where they're located. And unfortunately, we don't have any specific guidance today to individual farmers in individual countries. Break down the silos and, and have more integration at, at policy level and at implementation level among different sectors. You need to have databases that look across mitigation and adaptation. Agriculture is the single and most aggressive driver of deforestation. So we have to look at how do we reduce that pressure from agriculture. development of um, financial incentives to train our farmers and to put in place policies that uh, are uh, you know, environmentally sustainable but also economically sustainable. We need that work program to become the starting point for the rest of the future and to illustrate to the folks that don't understand agriculture that we have concrete actions to bring. There is no agriculture in the policy framework, it is not a deal for Africa. I have that commitment to agricultural research. Climate smart agriculture is the only way forward. Let's get a red plus uh, decision. Get together and find a solution. Enable agriculture to play its role in climate change mitigation and adaptation, food security and development. We need changes and we need changes now. To take note of agriculture both as a victim, a sensitive sector for climate change, but also a major role in achieving greenhouse gas reduction targets. Bring it down to the local level. Trust together uh, without taking in consideration uh, interests. I hope to receive uh, some information, uh, the good news for okay. all the farmers around the world. I think, I think we can do it and it's time to act. Do it now. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Negotiators, the world's agriculture is 17% of the problem. I will be 34%. I will be 51% of the solution. Give me a chance. <laughs>